So you're the host. You're supposed to take control. Yeah. Look. This is... This is the shrubbery. This is the shrubbery. The shrubbery with Aaron Shrub and my guest, Ricky Gervais. Travers. That's my name. Ricky Gervais. Ricky, so, don't call me after that fucking <laughs> fedora wearing Goldie. <laughs> he blocked me on Twitter because I kept on shit posting him anyway. Did you? He did, yeah. Did you? I did. Go on, explain. Well, he kept posting really annoying shit. Well, you see, I like The Office and Extras, but he's been shit ever since then. And then he kept posting really stupid things about atheism. And I'm an atheist myself, but it was really fucking embarrassing, cringy bollocks that you'd see a 14-year-old post on Facebook. Ah. So um, I was just shit posting him saying things like, oh, if the sun's a star, then how come it's a circle? And he like retweeted it saying, oh my God, how can some people be so stupid? <laughs> and then I just saying all these things like, Jesus loves you and you're going to go to hell if you say things like that. And he blocked me. <laughs> I find recently his comedy's gotten terrible. He he's he says really something. Dry. Well, no, he says something that's not even shocking or offensive. Yeah. And then like one person will get offended, just one, and he'd be like, ah, 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 "It's so easy to trigger people. Ah, 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 I annoy so many people. Aren't I outrageous? Ah, 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 bang." Jesus. Yeah, he's shy. Carl Pinkleton was the real hero this whole time. Yeah, I was about to. I was. I was going to bring that up. That's the. I think the only one that I thought was quite funny from then was the Carl Pinkleton. But it was just him. Carl Pinkleton on his own is amazing because he's. It's just funny. Exactly, <laughs> you see that in the series where he goes um, to all the countries. Like he's himself. Just, he's a good, honest man. Now imagine me with him. That would be amazing. Can you get Carol Pinkerton on this podcast? Well, let's 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 let's, let's give this a go. Let's, I think that'd be a, that'd be an interesting uh, um, venture to go into. I say, if you ask Carl Pinkerton to come on this, he'd just probably say, "Oh, above us, what's the point?" But like, I'd love to get him on. Like, get him on to just talk f- about monkeys. Just for the just for the crack. Oh, and then get um. And then get Joe Rogan on there as well, have talk about monkeys. <laughs> oh my Christ! Imagine the two of them shouting out about chimps for ages. <laughs> Whoa, Carl, you ever tried DMT? Oh, what's that? Oh, it'd be fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate, no, uh, no, uh, um, yeah, Jamie, uh, Jamie, yeah, pull that up, pull that up, uh, d- uh, DMT, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I swear he's been on the podcast. P- Carl Pinkerton? I swear no, he's had one. he was never on it. No, if he was didn't. on, it would be more well known, because he'd be showing him videos of chimps doing black flips out of trees and stuff. But that's where it started, that's how they, that's how they all started from, like, uh, they started from like a podcast. They started, didn't they? And he apparently uh, it was he was some sort of um, like producer or something. Well, that it was, was it was an actual radio show. Yeah, and he was just a producer, but they found him funny, so they brought him on. They found him really, but then like, really funny. He became <laughs> so popular and so funny, he basically became the show. Then yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> after that, they didn't know what to do. Did it like after they tried to like? Uh, well, I think just like they do went... other things, but nah, nah. That, that was the peak. <laughs> that was the peak now, yeah. Like, the podcasts and the cartoons are still fucking hilarious. Though. Oh, man. Like, some people say Carl Pinkerton's a character or he's an actor, like, but he's been doing this for, like, since, like, the early 2000s. Like, he must be the most committed co- actor in the world if he is a, playing a character or something, like. No, he, that's him. I know people like that. <laughs> I, know, I know people that would speak their mind. I like, well, think about it. Look at me. I just say random stuff. But it's, it's like, <laughs> he has this weird logic. Like I've never There's seen this, this anything before. Stuff like, uh, oh, I get sad when I hear rain. It's like why? Oh, because earthworms come up, and earthworms think, oh, good, a bit of water. Oh no, here comes a crow. Like who <laughs> thinks like that? It's shit like that. Like how does his mind work? <laughs> I, th- I think he did something on snails. Like they're so slow. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! <laughs> then you step on them and you feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> or he, th- there was a lady who said she was a psychic, and she, had, and then there was a dog beside him, and because the lady was a psychic, you know, Carl started pretending, thinking dog thoughts, so he imagined himself running around as a dog on the beach, so the woman would think she's reading the dog's mind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you call me Ricky Gervais. Oh, the yeah. I flew off the handle and then we start talking about Carl Pinkleton. So getting into the real conversation, anime. Anime. So Ani- anime was a mistake. What is uh, what is anime? A mistake. 
To quote the wise, uh, what's his face? Hayao Miyazaki, anime was a fucking mistake. It's nothing but rubbish. Go on. Explain. Um, Hayao Miyazaki made a few great movies. Everybody likes them, even non weebs. And then people started drawing porn of his underage female characters, and he's like, nope, big fucking mistake. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, no, nah, that's it. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> well. Well, yeah, Miyazaki done. Yeah, good luck. You can't make that man retire if you fucking force him to. Like, he's retired about eighty times and come out of retirement about eighty times. Oh, it's inter- It's a. Uh, it's interesting. It's, you know, it's one of them. No, the anime's. Um, I used to watch. I kind of used to. I didn't watch it when I was really young. I didn't really understand when. I, even in my teens, when I started, kind of getting into it. The first one I proper watched was. Um, and you probably hit down on me for this, but it was kind of the first proper anime I watched. Um, the a melancholy of Haru Suzumiya. Yeah, that's a classic. Okay, cool. <laughs> it, has ups, it had its ups and downs, but I think it's more hit than this. Oh uh, yeah, no, that was one I loved it. Uh, just I like I just like the little storyline of it. It kind of got me thinking. And then that's when I start and I watched other ones. What, remember that one, Tiger? Tiger. Tiger. Oh, I never heard of Tiger. Uh, no, no, it's just it's like this girl that's kind of like a tiger. Girl, that's a tiger. No, no, no. She's not a tiger. But her name's like Tiger or something like that. Tiger. And then there's this other guy, and ah, uh, what? Toriano. Uh, no, it's that like, na- that's that's like the fucking Bridget of Japan, though. Like, there's a million Torians and stuff like. I'll show you what I mean later. Can you do the Haru Haru dance? You want me to do the Haru? I c- look. I c- I could. Do the Haru Haru dance. Go on, you do it. I don't know what I don't know the choreography. No, neither do I. <laughs> it's kind of a that, that one. Um, that was one of the. I think that was the start of all the dances. And it, it just, was. And, and then now we got. What do we have now? What's, well, like, the new, what's the new one? How is so interesting because it broke the two thousands. It actually fucking broke it. If you liked it or you didn't like it, you couldn't escape it. It broke it. I argue that I had a bigger influence than like Naruto or Death Note or Full Metal Alchemist at the time. All right. It fucking broke it. It was true. I mean, it had a. I think it brought a. I think it brought concepts in. Like, 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 like thought experiments or something like that. What would you do if there was a god, like that didn't even know it was a god walking like, around? It's kind of special to me because before that, I only used to kind of watch action shows like yeah. Big O or Cowboy Bebop. That's or what something. I'm talking about. I wouldn't watch something like oh, it's about a girl in school. Ooh. And now I watch loads of girly shit. I think, like, you know, it really opened my mind. I love, um, like, no, I, I really appreciate it for that, like. No, I don't think it's girly, but I think it's more, it's a slice of life, but it's more established that. Yeah, but established before that, it was pure, like, oh, no, it has to have, like, fucking, you know, guns and lads kicking the shit out of each other, like, the whole time. This is fun. This is what it is. That's, I mean, it's just, I think anime has evolved um, into different, many different, like, uh, subgenres and weird dark places or like you know no, but then, then there's and then there's loads of show there's just loads of really great shows that depict um very interesting concepts like uh or just or just like trying to like uh break the mold of like what com- like comedy or you know like there's ones like one one punch man punching one man like one punchy man yeah one punching a man yeah that that what didn't that didn't that kind of like uh was trying to be a bit well, like, it was a whole joke on, like, you know... Yeah, what it's the joke of sh- Shonen. So, la- one lad is so overpowered, like, he get, he just gets bored, like... And his greatest fucking deals is stuff like shopping and trying to kill a fly. It's very zen. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, very again, zen. like, it kind of has a go at the whole, like, modern society. Like, uh, he's literally the most powerful man in the universe, but he's only, like, a C rank because he did shit in the test. He's now B rank. Oh, B rank, yeah, but, like, he started off as, like, D or C because he did shit in the test. He didn't. He physically did really well. He did, yeah. But like when it came to all the other stuff, like he wasn't prepared or anything. Like I mean, they shouldn't have downgraded him. And, fl- I, uh, we, and again, like the whole joke, like I won't say it in case it. no one's watched it. Like, but how he became incredibly strong is so funny. Like, a hundred push-ups, a hundred. Oh, don't say it because if nobody knows, it's hilarious. Like I laughed my whole life and I found out how he became so overpowered. And a hundred Camilla to run. Ah, let's go! It's hilarious because like, he's fighting the big yoke and everything when it happens. Like it's brilliant how the reveal of how he became strong was the funniest moment of the whole series. I'd love to. I love them to delve deep and why he's that strong. I love them to have like a little existential crisis of like, what the fuck. How well, he am I kind of strong. Like, what the hell? He was mad that the no, but, like, exercise con- regime made no, his hair everyone- fall out. Con- everyone con- like I love it to everyone confronts him and goes what the hell why are you this strong 
and like that's like and then it, this is like the like the sort of the end episode or something that everyone's just trying to figure it out they still don't know I think he told most people though like he basically tells you if you ask you like yeah but it's not it, it can't just be the exercise it is that's the whole joke <laughs> the whole joke is that he just does an exercise that anybody could literally do like when you're like in a world full of like robots and cybernetic freaks and aliens and everything like and then it and then it just sort of like became what it is like he just punches people and it's done that's it like some episodes are like oh when's he gonna punch him when's he gonna punch him do I have to seriously wait another 15 minutes to see him punch him yeah like we don't care about the other characters just wait until I don't know the... <laughs> no but that's the funny thing we care about the other characters yeah. Kamen Rider is great huh no not Kamen Rider he's a piss take a Kamen Rider whatever the lad on the bike yeah yeah he's brilliant oh he's amazing yeah he's the true hero of the of the of the anime I know that, ep- that basically like three episodes where he gets the shit kicked over by the big fucking sea thing like out of the three top animes that used to be Naruto, Bleach, oh God, and One God. Piece, what would you choose? Uh, I tried watching Naruto years ago. I didn't like it. Tried watching Bleach years ago. I didn't like it. Never tried One Piece, but like, it seems better than Naruto and Bleach from what I gathered. But One Piece, even though it's the only one I haven't seen. Never seen. I've never properly watched all of the episodes of. Naruto, but I've watched all the episodes of Naruto Shippuden, which is a bit better. <laughs> That's the sequel, isn't it? Yeah, but I got the gist of it, and I watched Bleach and all of the manga. Jesus, I heard that goes to shit like after it season went, two or something. It went to shit. How would you stick with it? Once then, they then? defeated I Eisen, the main c- m- protagonist, it just flopped. It just after that, it was like oh, okay, the big main guy is dead. Where are they gonna go with this? Then they went up to the point where they like. Like the last one was basically where they couldn't figure out how to de- um, defeat this guy with om- omnipresent, omni, omni, many different omnis powers that he got, and he's like a quinchy, and then he just sort of like, uh, like this, like the god of the quinchies. Yeah. And then like, he 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 faces off against the god of like everything, <laughs> which which is a so just which got... is literally a man that's got no arms and legs, just sitting there in a in a t- in a tub that can't speak and it's just on. Un- is yeah, he I one got... of those weird monk dolls? Yeah, it's just a, it's just a, it's it's just a torso. Yeah, it's a, a head. based off that weird Buddhist monk doll. I know I don't want to hear about. And then that's the whole premise, and then like, like, and then sort of how they end it is basically, um, the sort of what's he called Ichigo? Just basically just goes. Wait, his name's Ichigo. What? Do you know what that means? No. Strawberry. Yeah. That's a girl's name. Ichigo. Ichigo. Yeah, it's a girl's name. In everything I've seen, all, all, all girls called Ichigo. Huh. Never seen that. It is. Maybe it's in... It's in must be in... Uh, it's in Mew Mew, uni. Tokyo Mew Mew and Fiora It like. must be a uni name. Maybe it could be for what I know. Both genders. <laughs> he's a strawberry anyway. He's a, he, Well, he's orange. He's a strawberry. He's, he's got Ichigo. orange hair. Yeah, he's got a strawberry. He's got orange hair. Ah, you just love oranges now. Come on, no admit it. Look. Look, I like strawberries too. Strawberries, lives matter. Guys. You love the orange life. Huh? The orange and ten leaf. <laughs> <laughs> orange man bad. <laughs> like, like, he is bad. He's a cunt. Yeah, I know. Now, One Piece. I watched a lot of the episodes. I watched a few, like the, the first from the first to the, like I think got up, I got up to like two hundred, and I kind of just and that's not even like one tenth of the no. series. No, I watched like up to two hundred episodes, and then I just I don't know. I stopped watching it. Cause it got it was just too many fillers, and there was this one sort of filler episode, and I couldn't I couldn't explain, or I don't know, I just didn't I just didn't continue. Like the thing with me, One Piece is like I've heard it's great. I heard it's like one of the best ever fictional universes ever created. But like, I'm 27 in October. If I start watching 10 episodes today, I won't even be halfway through before I die of old age. But but that's this. But you know, there's two, 700 episodes of of Naruto. Yeah, and that's like pales and fucking One Piece, which no, is like eight no, billion. No, 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 no. One Piece is actually seven hundred or eight, seven or eight hundred. Like One Piece is more episodes than fucking Pokemon or anything. Like, really? I think so. As far as I know, like it's been going for twenty years. Like we've got to find out. It's ridiculous. Anyway, Jamie like. pulled it up. <laughs> you see, like something like Pokemon, you could just jump in and watch whatever. It's just a stupid thing for kids. But One Piece has an ongoing story arc. I don't even know where they're gonna finish. Like what other fictional piece of media? Actually, it's been ongoing for twenty years. 
or longer. Um, has like I'm sure there's been I don't know what books written in the middle evil ages maybe like I can't think of anything. Well, Pokemon. Well, Pokemon's kind of a game franchise. You can play any Pokemon game and you're not going to really miss much. Like, No. <laughs> Unless you're like a super fan and you care about like the world building or whatever. Like, you know, you're not well, going to miss... Well, there's no world building. Like, how could these e- how could these creatures even be like fathomably explored? They don't. They just treat them like... They treat the whole They're pro- thing like it's like a little child's program. It is a little child's program. Which it is, but like they didn't... There's things that they should have like kind of like explained that it didn't and then it not kind of, really it just makes everything seem quite like what's going on they had a head writer in the early series something shoot up and he was a good ideas man but he was a fucking madman at the same time like you could not let this lad write he wanted to make it really edgy and have like ash's father was killed in a war and like at age 10 all the boys have to leave pallet town and all this and originally for the do you know the first pokemon movie where mewtwo catches the things and yeah. clone them but then Mewtwo learns humans aren't bad. In the originally, his idea for that was Mewtwo is going to lead a fucking human revolution against all the Pokemon. Ash is Pikachu, his best friend in the world, leaves Ash and becomes Mewtwo's right hand man, and all the Pokemon kill all the humans in the world. Nah. And the third movie, the one with Entei, you know, where Ash has to f- f- get his mother back and a little girl wants to forget her father back. Pretty much. He wanted to find a T-Rex, a real T-Rex, like, not a Pokemon T-Rex, a real T-Rex. It would come back from a fossil, it would march through all the towns, kill loads of Pokemon on human, get back to Pallet Town, kill Ash's parents. But then at the end, all the Pokemon would kill the fossil. Huh. But they fossilized fucking T-Rex. And after that, um, after they rejected that script, like, you're fucking insane. No, this is a kid's thing. He went home, got pissed, and then quit his job. <laughs> What? He was a madman. He was... This is Pokemon. This is not your fucking edgy fanfic. <laughs> he did not go with that. <laughs> because Pokemon is a franchise that's never going to die. It's the biggest media franchise. It's bigger than Star Wars. Like, So they're not going to end it with some stupid edgy fucking T-Rex which doesn't make sense in the universe or Mewtwo killing all the humans. Well, I think the only one that would make a sense is say, why would they send out young kids like that? Right... But this like, is a world where, like, the most threatening... And there's barely any, like, male or, like, just general, like, adults. So you could there's say that... They, they, you could say that there could have been, like, a world war or something. And, like... Just... <sighs> no. Like, this is a world without murderers or rapists or anything, like... Yeah, but how do they eat meat? Do they you don't eat think about it. You just <laughs> don't think about it. But, like, have you seen the fisherman? And then he gets, like, a car... Like, one of them, like... That was, like, like ma- the... Mac well, Magic carps. Yeah. Yeah. And then he gets it and he's like, Hey, do you want to buy this? Like, like, no, I think no, we don't eat Pokemon. <laughs> in the early games, they kind of hinted at things like this, but then they kind of dance around it and just pretend it doesn't exist. Like, all right, even if you see someone eating steak or whatever, like they do, they eat, they eat like different types of animals all the time. Yeah, they're eating milk tanks or whatever. Like, but just don't think about it. This milk tank's your friend. He's not food. I'd probably be a vegan if we lived in the Pokemon world. I mean, how? Like, that's a, the strange world, man. It's like, how do they eat? What do they eat? Do they just eat vegetables? Yeah, but no, but like vegans. He... Vegans exist in the real world. Yeah, but the Pokemon. What the Pokemon do they... eat? Do they eat each other? Well, yeah, it's hinted that they eat each other. You just don't see it because they don't want the fucking family kitty game. They don't want to see fucking uh, what's it, Marini tear torso into ribbons like. I want to see that though. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a Pokedex that says something about Kadu- Kabutops ripping open Pokemon and sucking their juices out. But you're not going to see that. That's great. Let's do that. No. Absolutely explore that shit. Pokemon is the last franchise that needs to be ed- edgy. <laughs> no. Edgy Mario before edgy Pokemon League. Edgy Mario. That's already that's already been established. He's a mushroom tripper. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is a fucking joke from Robot Chicken or College Humor League. But come on. It makes sense. No, it doesn't. It really does. <laughs> he eats mushrooms and gets big. He eats mushrooms and... He starts seeing these animals talking to him. He starts seeing really vibrant colours and going through tubes. Jesus, this is like fucking 2003 internet humour. Like. <laughs> oh, internet humour. Internet humour, but yeah. What do, you think of, what do you think of the memes now? Well, what's the last meme? Oh, I like that Sasuke meme. Do you know that one? Oh, yeah, going like that. Because <laughs> there's one funny one with just Hank Hill. And it's like... I'll teach you to use charcoal, but like anything with Hank Hill is automatically funny, though. Like. Okay, all right. 
<laughs> I really like the boomer meme because it's kind of a piss take and a tribute at the same time. Boomer meme? Yeah. For? Basically, people who would be born in like the late 80s and early 90s, kind of like ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. boomers. All uh, oh, right. Like, you know, they, Baby boomers. they call us boomers because we're acting like our parents and all this stuff. All right. So it's just like, I know, you see a lad is about 25 and he's just like, oh, Quake 2. No, that was a game. Quake 2? I didn't even know what Quake is. Quake is a... I only, only, only found out what Quake was until f- when fucking Joe Rogan was like, Hey, uh, I love that game, Quake. I was sitting there and I was like, what? I was like, what the fuck is Quake? Like, I know what, I know what um, Doom is. He talks about Doom. But Quake what the came out Quake? after Doom League. Yeah, exactly. It came out in the 2000s, but I never knew about it. There's like Quake, what, Quake 3 was meant to be. I never actually played them, though, to be honest. No, like. I, never, I don't even know what they but are. But I knew about them. Like, even when I was a kid, I knew they existed just because I was into games. Like, and but like, I couldn't play that as a kid. Like, And um, I was, what was the, yeah, it's like those, yeah. Would you consider me as a millennial? Yes, we're millennials. Anyone born in the 80s or 90s is a millennial. Okay. All right, I was born in 95. That means you're a millennial. No, but it's, I saw this post, yeah, saying from 95 to 2000 or yeah. 95 to two, 1999, it's just this weird gap of like, like people born in those times, they don't really, f- they don't, fit into the millennials and they don't fit in with like the people that come after 2000 yeah it's this weird gap and i'm in that gap and i do feel that there's like i don't feel quite like i don't feel like a millennial and i don't feel like a new what they call them that's the thing about the boomer and zoomer meme the boomers are like pre-95 and the zoomers are like you know kids born in 2000 who love facial tattoos and opiates and sound club and fortnite we're in a weird time so yeah, I don't know what it feels like to be like a weird mid to late nineties kind of last generation thing. <laughs> It'd be weird to go in back in that time where people remember the like the nineties and stuff, but I don't remember. I barely remember the nineties. Well, I remember bits and bobs, but like I probably fucking flagged memories because like I was a kid. Yeah, I was like I barely remember when I was the first. I think the first proper memory was when I was like three. I remember seeing like the mayor coming out of nowhere in, <laughs> of Harrow where I used to live, and like he just comes out and he shakes my hand and walks off. That's it. I remember that. That's it. <laughs> Hello, little baby. <laughs> Let me give you a kiss. Take a picture. He had like, he had like gold around him and everything. Oh, uh, is this your mum? <laughs> the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear it was a thing. But um, that was it. That was a weird time. But nowadays, like memes have become this thing. And I think I was talking to Sean, um, about. Um, like memes now have you, have you seen like YouTube comments yes or just comments in general have. and then everyone's just talking in memes they're talking in like meme kind yeah. of like sentences like memes are basically and, inside jokes but the inside jokes are so spread now like they're global yeah and it's like no because it's like normal humour now you can't really say much or you get like pro- you get absolutely fucking like people get offended by one thing and you can't say it but with memes you can say like like you can go like this you ever heard this one the N word just go hey hey you can don't say the N word. Don't say the N word. It's like, what's the N word? <laughs> but you kind of can know the inside joke is it's the the N word. Like, like that was a 4chan meme or something, isn't it? Like, yeah. But like, that's the thing about memes as well. Like, they used to be kind of like say you got your 4chan memes or your nine gag memes, Facebook memes or whatever. But now they all kind of mishmashed into one. Like, now all the memes are kind of like crossbred. Like, there's no such thing as like really 4chan lingo or Twitter lingo anymore. Like, you just see everything everywhere. Like, yeah, you see it. And you see it mixed together, like, but like it's like, um, this is where you got to think. It's it's a way of um, communicating. Yeah, it is like it's a way of communicating in a humorous way, without any prosecution because it's free speech. It's just like, oh, I, I just said it. I, I, I'm just saying a meme. I'm not saying anything. Yeah, in, like in there's sense. this ironic you know attachment as well. Ironic. Like. I think the memes now are kind of more incented in the ra- in the realm of being ironic. Well, yeah, it is, like, because memes are silly as well. Like, they're inside jokes. Like, you don't want to take them seriously. They should be, ironically. Yeah. So, we're, like, yeah, but now it's become that, and it used to be different before. It used to be diff- you, a different format before. It used to be a different format even after that. Honestly, but now it's more yeah. ironic memes. But where is it going now? Where's the next Where's the next big thing? What's the next thing that people start going, oh, look at that. Oh, ho, ho. You know, saying, oh, I can't. That was funny. Shaggy. <laughs> <laughs> the shaggy power oh, level. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> was it ultra ultra instinct shaggy it was grand for a while it got a bit old first oh I it's got a bit old now yeah, yeah. no it's got a bit... that's an example of just random shit like that 
So that's been random shit. Why did over 9,000, like 12... Excuse me. Why did that become so big like 12 years ago? Over 9,000. It's over 9,000. It's just a random Dragon Ball Z line. It's not even particularly notable or funny or anything. It's just pure, like, why 9,000? I think it's just the way it was portrayed. Like Vegeta going... It's over now, <laughs> and it just shatters, and he's like, "What?" And then that meme went so <coughs> fucking far. They actually got a bunch of 4chan trolls went onto Twitter's uh, web, oh, not Twitter, sorry, what's her name? Oprah's uh, website, and pretended to be a bunch of pedophiles. And they said they actually got Oprah on live TV to say, "We've over nine thousand penises, and we're using them to have sex with children." She said that on TV. <laughs> Did she actually? It's on YouTube. She says, we've over yeah. 9,000 penises. And the audience is genuinely re- disgusted. They have no idea. It's a stupid joke. Jamie, Jamie pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the only... I think that's the only thing I miss about old memes. It's like, like since they've gone mainstream, you kind of can't do silly inside jokes yeah, like that You can't do the troll anymore. face. Or you can't do well, the... troll face was never good. It was oh, all yeah, stupid. Oh, yeah, it was fucking shit. No, but like... like what did it used to... You, oh, yeah, that's what it used to be. It kind of used to be like... Like uh, you have you, like, names and stuff. You can make them like XXX. Yeah. Like um, like like, Pussy Slayer nine hundred um six six six. Yeah, yeah. XXX or something like that, you know. And like you start saying those trying to be that like, edgy. It's just like what's the next edgy thing, that goes against the the curve the like. the, the status quo of memes. Shadow the Edgehog. Huh. Shadow the Edgehog. Oh, that fucking died ages ago. <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. No, he'll he'll make a resurgence. Cause I mean, what's it? Sonic Adventure Two came out ye- like nearly twenty years ago. All the kids who played that growing up are now adults. Like I see with the first Sonic Adventure, out of nowhere, there's a massive wave of nostalgia for it. The Sonic Adventure Two nostalgia won't be too soon. No. So Shadow is gonna make a comeback, even though he bombed horribly. He's gonna make a comeback. That edgy 2000s emo stuff is going to make some kind of new... It has made a w- new wave with the SoundCloud rappers, like. All right. Yeah, so, like, it's coming back. The kids who grew up with My Chemical Romance and shit now are all, like, college age. It would be different. It would be different, of course. It would be like. different, but it'd be kind of, like, a resurgence. Like, because everything goes in kind of a weird flow, not yeah. that. Like, of different... Everything goes from, like, uh, it becomes quite conservative and then it goes quite gothic. You know, that... It, like, you've, you, a good, good example of what I mean is um churches how they're built like back in when everything started to get really gothic-y right mm-hmm. that was a that was a edgy um rebe- rebellious sort of ish act against people that used to have like church like kind of like very conservative kind of or like uh, romany kind of churches the romance uh, yeah, era yeah that kind of thing but that and then it went over to that gothic thing and then it went back up to more of a um very uh, pruded uh, thing and it went back down it goes like that, doesn't it? Honestly, it just reminds me of like uh, the whole gothic churches. Remind me of like those heavy metal Christian bands. You're like, Jesus can get hardcore too. It's, well, well, the fact that you said that that was the that was the edgy gothicy sort of age when yeah. all that stuff coming out. Like it goes because it, most most kids, most teenagers, they it's it's basically kind of built into us to rebel against something. Well, yeah, at that Something. age, like you're all like your parents out. might be the best people, but you 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 do something that pisses them off. Well, like, yeah, like 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 what's the thing now that people are doing TikTok? For example, TikTok. yeah, that's just the latest young stupid kid thing. Whatever, like I don't really care about TikTok. Like. No, but like, I'm I'm saying it in a in a sense because I saw a video. It was you explaining the fact that uh, kids are going on there and making these videos that are against some sort of weird like against um the sort of the um what's the word sort of you know the that is cool no of you know you know how people are going like you can't say that and then like and then you hear loads of like these ones on like things going like social this social justice political correctness i guess in a sense but like um and then they're kind of going like and then people on tick these kids on tiktok are like taking a piss like they're going like you can't say that and then, and then there's someone dancing in the corner doing fortnite dances you know just a sort of yeah. In a weird, that's the that's the humor now. It's that like, is, it's, yeah. it's a weird sort of shift. But I think that's I think that's dying out now a little it's bit. It's something to do with like people got so sick of kind of referential humor, and now they're doing referential humor in like kind of a almost aggressive way. Like Sans in Fortnite is like a nearly a, it's like saying like we fucking hate shit like Family Guy and Big Bang Theory that just references things like yeah yeah yeah. So like it's kind of lost in them, but it's still kind of funny in just a stupid childish way though. It is. Time. No, but that that that's what that's what I mean. It's it's a straight up, um, it's a straight up against the narrative, it's against the 
it's like against the grain sort of thing what yeah. people are doing everyone does everyone does it, it is, yeah. when they grow up to the pacific age and they do that but it, that's what changes that's what changes culture that's what changes society to to, to um to sort of uh what's the word uh like kind of like call out the status quo yeah and ch- like say oh no what about this let's do this like this like you know what's um it's just counterculture. Counterculture, yeah. There's a counterculture to that. There's counterculture to many different things. Yeah. Strange. There was a counterculture to even anime. Even anime used to be a counterculture. Yeah. But <laughs> like, no, point. it's kind of like that I want a weeb thing. But I say that I want a weeb thing kind of more stems from like your surroundings. Like say you, all your friends are like, oh, you watch anime? Ooh, you know. So then it's just like, uh, yeah, haha, tentacles, haha, uh, schoolgirls. Yeah, but, that, but that's, that's, that's why I said that, that used to yeah. be the edgy thing like like people used to take the piss out of that oh you watch anime haha <laughs> but now everyone watches anime it and now, is, yeah. now now people are going like what the fuck to well something. i don't think everyone watches it but i just think everyone no, knows what he, it is like yeah, but like, now, now everyone knows it isn't it's not it. like you know it's like back when, when we went to school if you watched anime you were a freak but like say back in the 90s if you read comic books you were a freak in the 80s if you played computer games you were a freak it's just whatever the nerdy thing is but then eventually it just gets more mainstream and people kind of just like okay learn to like it's there yeah, it's there. It's what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at all this shit. Um, Dragon Ball Z, fucking... Or was it? Goku's uh, the... Uh, what's it? The Japanese mascot of their Olympic Games or something is like he? that. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he is. Because I, I <laughs> that's, remember... Uh, that's who, the guy. Abe came out dressed up as Mario at the end of the Brazilian one. Like. Did he? Yeah. Really? I swear to Abe, the fucking T-Shock of Japan. Really? Yeah. The Mario hat. He came over warp pipe and kicked the football or something. <laughs> Only in Japan, huh? I just can't wait now. The Tokyo Olympics in the same year that as Akira takes place. As Akira? Yes. God, what's uh? What's as Akira? Are you serious? What's Akira? Akira. You started off talking. It's the best anime movie of all time. Got it. Is it that one with the little kid that's got very short hair and it's got this sort of weird um backdrop of like um sort of a dystopic. Yes. World. Yeah, and he has psychic powers and, and all this. And he drives this sort of hover. The motorbikes. Yes, it's still the best like two D animated thing I've ever seen. Never in my actually life. seen it. Jesus Christ, man! Never seen it. Watch it tonight. It's honestly the best fucking two D movie I've ever seen in my whole I life. Just don't know. Just one, the of, aesthetic... one of them things I haven't seen. Like, like I only recently just watched Cowboy Bebop. For fuck's sake! I saw that like on my eleventh birthday. No, no. Jesus Christ, man! I only recently watched it. Only some like I just didn't like when I was when I was getting into anime I didn't choose it because I looked oh that looks like a cowboy thing and I'm not really interested. In looks that. it's called like, none of the characters in that film look like a cowboy. No, but like I kind of was like ah, uh, but now I watched okay that, cowboy but, Andy, but like that's a that's now, the joke. Yeah, but now I watched it. I'm like wow, that's amazing. It's amazing. The like, more you watch it, the better it gets. Like I was just I don't know I just didn't watch it. Just one of them things. Just didn't. Uh, one of them like I just wanted to watch the freshest thing I guess when I was younger like, that like, was the freshest thing though when I was a kid true like how would be was one of those things that gets better the older I get it gets it gets, gets better and better it's like that and Evangelion are the only things that get better the still older I haven't seen that one either oh for god I, it's no, coming to Netflix like next month so you have no excuse great grand grand the only reason I couldn't watch it actually was the fact that it wasn't on Netflix and the fact that also I tried to watch it on Funimation and different things it's actually not available in Ireland yeah, but like they no 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 air. It's not available for air. It was never like on TV, as far as I know, back when I was younger. But when I was younger, not TV. I'm saying in like say internet, oh, trying yeah. to actually stream it and actually get it like just off the bat. No. Yeah, no. but like back in the 2000s, it's okay because everyone did this. You get it off like LimeWire. You're going one of those dodgy anime sites. Yeah, yeah, which are totally legal. What is it, anime freak? Oh, oh, yeah, there's like anime out. freak anime dots com and all this Funimation. stuff. Animation. God, LimeWire was a dodgy bastard. But anime freak was one. I was used to watching that. That was a weird website to sort of I had to get the dub or the sub. What would you choose? I like the fuck. I always go for. I nearly always go for sub. I yeah. I it was probably a bad idea back then when they had all these fan subs that were fucking terrible. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't say that. You can't say that the the uh, four, uh, team four stars Dragon Ball Z uh, Umbridge was terrible I don't know I don't know but I remember watching you never uh, seen wait 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 you've never seen that I don't really care about Dragon Ball like so no but like, no but if you watch Team them it's Star. funny it's just it's just generally like a funny but I wouldn't get the jokes because I don't really know a whole lot about it like but 
Yeah, but they make their own jokes. Like, I could watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, because I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid, but, like, I had to stop once it stopped where I stopped watching it as a kid, like. Um, I I base, I used to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! I used to love that. Exactly, like. I used to love that show. Everyone loved that shit as a kid. But I, don't, I wouldn't watch it now. No, it's way too drawn out. It's, it's not even that, it's just, I wouldn't, I'd find that pit very kiddie. It's kind of funny in how silly it takes itself so seriously, but it's just... It the, it, yeah, that's the seriousness of it. I'm like, I don't want to watch that. But, like, if it's five episodes of people just staring each other out and flashbacks and nothing actually happening, that's intolerable, like... Yeah, so, nah, I'm not watching it. If it's like more that. fast-paced, it could be watched ironically for because it's so sh- silly, like... Well, I mean, I mean, in comparison, there are so many animes that do that. Because all the like, characters in it are so silly. Like, you have Taya, who just can't go ten seconds without talking about friendship. And then you have the greatest character of them all, Kaiba. 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 Oh. Kaiba is a man who spent a fucking card into space because he wanted to fight aliens. That's amazing. <laughs> Kaiba is a lad who once uh, who stopped himself getting shot in the head because he threw a card in the glock of a gun. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's just one of them things. Like He's a billionaire and he still goes to school. The heart of the cards. <laughs> Kaiba's the real hero of that series. I don't care if he constantly jobs at all his fucking card games. No, he doesn't really. He does. Well, from what I remember, I don't remember him ever winning. No, he just doesn't He just doesn't um, win against Yugi. I don't remember him ever winning, but like I said, I haven't seen it in years. I could no, he be just wrong. doesn't win against Yugi. I seen a thing though on uh, 4chan, and it actually said there's only one person in the whole series who never lost a card game. Yugi? Taya. Yep. Yeah. She had three games in the whole series, and she never lost. She's the only one who's never lost. Huh. She Even have... Yugi lost like once or twice. Taya, no. Really? Yep. Hmm, Okay. Uh, the you, alt is the real king of card games. Did you ever watch um what's it? The one with the the spinny top things. Babe oh god, Babe <laughs> They were so silly. Oh, I used to watch that when I was a kid and I was like I used to play with them as well, like. Same, yeah, you'd have them and then you'd go to the shop. But it wouldn't be the real Beyblades, it'd be a knockoff Beyblade. Yeah, the knockoff ones. And you're like, no man, it's not the real Beyblade. Look, it's so shit. Just do it properly, like. <coughs> I, used to have all, I used to have loads of them it was the same thing when you went to go to get Lego and your mum got your Duplo or something oh no did you used to play Lego when you were young of course I did everyone course, played Lego everyone did Le- Le- Lego's timeless I used to play I used to have like these little worlds where I used to make like a little world of like like these like different characters and then they like every time I get a new little character I f- it's like they get thrown into like a vortex I pretend they're in a vortex I throw them in <laughs> and then they go into my world and then everyone's basically sitting there going like Oh shit! Uh, where are we? Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> so we got transported to this world. We have to try to work us work out how we get back to our own worlds. <laughs> like, Why did like, you banish everybody to the shadow realm? Huh? Why did you banish everyone to the shadow realm? <laughs> well, I mean, I had to make a little world out for them, <laughs> and then they had to battle these like blue tack creatures and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Christ! <laughs> and then, and then eventually, that like the characters like they're so blue tacked. Because I put them into the blue tack moulds that they get all the joints get really blue tacky, and then they de- and I had to throw them away. <laughs> they basically died. <laughs> Fuck's sake! Oh uh, no, but um, that was that was, it was now nostalgic. If, if the word is that, I think the one greatest thing that ever came for me having an older brother was I got all his Lego when I was a kid. Really? Yeah, that was great. Just a big red bin <laughs> full of Lego. I was fucking class. Well. You could say I'm an only child, but you could also say I'm not, because I'm not an only child. Because, but it like I've got half brother and a, and two half sisters. Alright. So and they're much older than me. All right. So I never got any of their hand me downs. Never really got any of their. They only just basically babysitted me. <laughs> Until I met my brother, and then that turned into uh, me staying at his house and uh, just sort of. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> party, party, party. <laughs> if you get my drift. <laughs> I know, yeah, a bit of the old tasties. The, the, good old, the good old fun. A bit of the old sociables. What do you mean? Sociables. What's a sociable? When you go out for sociables. But I'm not going out for the sociables, I'm just in my brother's house. When you're in your brother's house having sociables with your brother. Just having a chat? Yeah, sociables. I remember having like... Like... He gets really like intense. <laughs> like, like, sure, you know, like sociables can do things to people's head. Like, remember one night I drank. Um, I was young and I drank like half a bottle of like vodka, like a like a big bottle of vodka. How young? And 
Oh, 15. Cheers. See, I am going to hear 16, this podcast. 16, something like that. And I puked my wow. guts out into his sink. <laughs> the next day, I woke up and he's like, Aaron, get in here now. Look at this. I'm like, oh, I don't remember doing that. He says, you better clean this up. I was like, I saw you drinking, like sneakily drinking the bottle like last, like on that night and like you were fucked. <laughs> like, uh, you better clean this up. So I'm walking home like really just like hungover after cleaning up sick in the sink. <laughs> like, and I get back and mum was like, you high? I'm like, no. No, I'm just hungover. <laughs> high on life. High in Jesus. Oh, of course. I used to say that a lot to people. I was like, I'm high on life, guys. I'm high on life. <laughs> The only thing I'm stored on is Muslim adultery. What? Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, Explain. You know the way if if an old Muslim couple though starting the Mickey, there'll be no divorce or there'll be no you know sham in the newspaper. What they do is they get the lad or the lady, usually the lady because is you know Islam doesn't really like women for some reason. Yeah, and they just kind of you know get a few sneaky pebbles and they're like pew pew pew. So what you do you like do you like that or do you no, just find that interesting? I just said that to be shocking. So, what would you like to finish on? Finish on? Yeah. You're back. Ooh. <laughs> Go on, give me a back massage. Oh, Go on. No, you could you just, just lay on my back and just move. Who knows, <laughs> Is that Lloyd and? Yeah, they're the going man? in there. They probably want to come in here. Who was the blondie one? All right, so go on, finish up on a line. Go on, tell me, tell me an, a legendary quote right into the mic like this. Go on. Oh, a legendary quote. I have billions of them, but I can never think of one. It's like a joke or a riddle, you know. When someone asks you, you can never think of one. I'll try to think of one. Right, God, a it's good like, one. It's like, you know, uh, socks and, and shoes go together well. A really good quote. Oh, who do I like? Oh, Sledge of Seek. Oh, yeah, Sledge of Seek. If you are a vegetarian, you'll turn into a monkey. There, that's all I can think of right now. Wow, I find that so interesting. That's right, Rot Joe. Oh, I can, <laughs> I can, I can do a Joey Diaz uh, impression. Joey Diaz, go on. <sighs> I tell you, Aaron Shrub. I knew this Italian motherfucker. He used to hang out with all the Cubans. And he was on the fucking bus, Iron Shrub. I was fucking ten years old. And he came up to the fucking teacher. And she gave him a fucking blowjob, Iron Shrub. <laughs> That's it. That's going to be in the shirt. That's going to be the, sh- the new shirt now. Um, Iron Shrub, I've given, I've given her a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the new shirt now. It'd be the new shirt. Come on, guys. All right. That was great, Joey Diaz. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, motherfucker. No fucking worries, mate. All right. Good, goodbye, freak bitches.